Welcome back to Have You Seen That Film. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Western, not Western movies called Hildago, starring Viggo Mortensen, who was hot off the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I think it was released the same year as actually one of them. I think Return of the King. It was released the same year as Return of the King. Or the year after Return of the King. I could be wrong. Anyways, <clears throat> Hildago is the story of Frank T. Hopkins, who is a horse racer. Frank is our main character, played by Viggo Mortensen, and his Hildago is his horse. And they, <clears throat> they travel around America going to all these uh, horse races, as well as they travel along with a um, Wild Bill Hitchcock show that used to take place back then. Anyways, um, they get an opportunity to, or they get invited to participate in a race, a 3,000 mile race across Arabia uh, called the Ocean of Fire. And Frank um, at first is hesitant to take it, but then in the end decides to go ahead and take on the, the task of this race. Um, and during this race, um, he's basically seen as an outcast, as the underdog, because for one, uh, he's got a painted horse, it's not a, a purebred, so his horse is made fun of, and he's kind of like, you can make, you can say anything about me, you can do anything you want to me, but you don't touch my horse. Um, and because they're not used to the Arabian Desert, there's a lot of things, there's sandstorms, um, there's epic escapes from danger. There's just a, the whole movie is a, a fun adventure film. And the reason I say it's not a, it's a western, not a western, is because you got Frank, who's a cowboy, who comes um, to a foreign land. It's kind of, in a sense, Quigley Down Under is definitely more of a western, I would say, that's set in Australia. But this is kind of um, just that same kind of concept two totally different stories, same different things, um, but there's just that uh, two cowboys going uh, across country to different lands that they're unfamiliar with and having to um, navigate through that. So it's got kind of that same feel as Quigley Down Under, or the same concept, but again, two very different stories. Um, Hildago has some fun, a lot of fun sequences in it. Uh, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when they're rescuing the princess. The, uh, and that's a, a bit of a, a plot in the story that, um, you know, Frank starts to develop this relationship with the princess, but the princess is, in a sense, forbidden to um, really be... not talk to Frank, but like, she's she's betrothed and she should not be with Frank, essentially. And it causes some conflict in the movie. Um, and I just realized, I kind of just trailed off from the plot, but that's ba I gave you the plot, basically. Frank goes to Arabia and he's trying to prove that um, he and Hildago got what it takes to um, win this race with different, great, various dangers along the way. What is so fun about this movie is I like the relationship between Frank and Hildago. Um, you can tell that they really do have this connection with each other, something that uh, they both continue to, you can continue to see it shown throughout the movie. It's not kind of like, oh, I have this relationship with my horse, and we focus more on Frank's character. I mean, and obviously, like, Frank's character does help drive the story, but Hildago is very much a central point of the story. Probably why they named the movie after Hildago. Um, but this movie, it's, it's a sports movie, it's an action movie, and it's an adventure. It's it's got a lot of fun elements to it. Usually when I picture a sports movie, you know, I think f 
football movie, you know, baseball movies, basketball, and they don't really have that adventure side to them. This is a sports movie that, um, like I said, you know, there's a whole scene where they're rescuing the princess who's been kidnapped, and there's gun fights and sword fights, and there's um, there's all sorts of close calls. It, it adds a lot of fun elements into it that um, keeps you on the edge of your seat and keeps you entertained. And the horse racing side of it is a lot of fun as well, especially during you know the final, the final stretch. It's really you know, like, ooh, you're like, come on, come on, go. You're like, uh, what's her name? Audrey Hepburn's character in My Fair Lady. I just Eliza Doolittle. You know, where she's, come on Dover, come on Dover. That's what I feel like when you're watching Hildago. You're just like, come on Hildago, come on. Um, so this movie gets you excited. It gets you, your blood pumping a little bit. It's like you're getting a, a little bit of a workout without working out, which is fun. It's, it's enjoyable in a movie when you're, your blood's pumping. It's, to me, it's a sign of a good movie if you are stressing and you're, and you're enthralled with it all. Um, what's cool as well is the location. I mean, you can say it's a lot of sand, but it's, it really is cool. Um, you know, saying this horse race in the Arabian desert. And this is based on a true story, by the way. And uh, getting to see just the landscape. It's, you know, that's what's fun about movies, is they allow you to escape to places that you may never get to go. You know, unfortunately, travel's not cheap, and Hildago, Hildago allows you to kind of go over there to Arabia and to see um, the desert, among other things. But it's kind of cool to be like, wow, like. In some of the shots, it's not all as I expected. I just picture a bunch of soft sand, uh, but that's not that's not entirely what it was. So it was a cool movie, uh, allowing me to see something that I don't know if I'll ever see. If I do, I'm not going to say I won't because you know it'd be really cool. But um, and I think Viggo Mortensen, uh, he's a he's such a great actor, and this was. It was cool to, you know, I think Viggo Mortensen, I think Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. So, um, we kind of get, again, a little bit of a, an Aragorn here, with Frank just being such a, an, over, an overall um, quiet, uh, good morals warrior. So we get Aragorn, but as a cowboy, in a sense you could say. So, but, <clears throat> yeah, Hildago is a fun movie. It's, it makes us some different sports, uh, different um, film genres together, and it really makes it work. You know, if, if I saw a basketball movie about saving a princess, and, I don't know, like it just, in my head that doesn't clash together, but this works. With the time period it's set, uh, with all that goes on, um, the action and adventure works in this setting, which is fantastic. So this is one of those movies where just kick back, relax, and get ready to uh, be sent on a, a roller coaster ride of adventure. So check out this movie. It's a really good one. It's a great one, and you won't regret it. You might, but I hope you won't. Thanks for watching today. I hope that you like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to produce more wonderful content for you all. If you have any movie recommendations of things that you'd like to hear my reviews on, comment down below and let me know, because I would love to know what you guys want to hear about. Thanks, and we'll see you later.